Hey guys, it's a cold day in Toronto and we have a lot going on. We're starting off our day with a consultation with my painter and my carpet supplier. We're getting a house ready for a big transformation but it's not gonna happen for the next month to month and a half. So today we're all going in, we're gonna have a look around, I'm gonna get some quotes, I'm gonna get some timing, let the guys see the place and then we're gonna get started on the work. I'm super excited. So Claudio, yeah. all of this trim work, has. we're going to paint it all white. I know it's not going to be an easy job, okay. but we need to put this in the quote, the trims. We want to remove a few doors and then the walls are all going to get lined up, come out of the beige colors, go more in the whites, make it look nice and bright. Okay, so we're doing all the trim, but whatever's the stain, we're going to bring it to white as well. Yes, all of this has to be sanded down. So here, the door, Nicholas runner going up mm -hmm. and then going down do you want to do you want to fully carpet it like this yes because we're not gonna we're not gonna change i don't know what's underneath we're it, not gonna change it's probably hardwood it's probably the same but you think it's in good condition or then it has to be treated it should be in good condition especially if he repaints it so you what what you would do i i have to look huh? you would do the riser white because you paint this white and then leave this brown and then you just put a runner leave like five it. six and five inches on each side yeah four so five, can yeah. we entertain that idea? If, I'm gonna I'm gonna look first. But then for you have to do the hardwood. The, the well, stairs. I can. It depends what what kind of condition it's in. Can this. you give me a quote for it? Okay. But we won't know until we know what's the condition, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can I can we can lift it a little bit and yeah. just look. Okay. At it. Yeah, as if it's. I mean, who knows if there's even hardwood under it? It would be much no, nicer. Exactly. But generally, have. stairs like that because I do these houses that age. Okay. And generally, it's the same wood there than there. Okay. Not Oh. So if it's not too much work and we can do it as an add-on, then we'll okay. give it as an option. Okay. Okay. Huh. Okay. I mean, it can be done. There's a little bit of... Because they have the track there with the staples that holds the right. carpet in. So no, but that we need, huh? To install the new one. We right, need. but we just have to yeah. cut it back, right? That's right. If you paint this in white, yeah. all the trim in white, yeah. why would you just have five inches in wood color? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't. Does it make sense to you? No, 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 we wouldn't. If yeah. we do that way, yeah. then we would have to paint it. Exactly. Just so paint the strip on the tray. Just paint the strip. So you, you paint the same color okay. there as yeah. there. That's, that's we'll, we'll price it out. Yeah. And if it's a significant difference, then they can decide. Maybe they'll okay. do full. Well, there for sure will be a significant difference between refinishing the stairs and then just painting. Do you have way. to do refinish the whole thing or would you just refinish the ends? Just refinish the end. Right. And then just put I the mean, runner going you through. You can do that. I mean, I don't like to do that because you don't know what the next owner is going to do. Yeah. No, no but I don't know. If it will make the next owner understand that he has to put a runner. The well, thing he'll is have with no choice. this house. <laughs> 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 Not that he has to Let me <laughs> just explain something. This house needs renovations, okay? If you go upstairs and downstairs, hardwood is different, okay? okay? All of the bathrooms need to be renovated. The kitchen, I'm going to show you. We're going to be painting it like okay. we do, like the factory paint. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing small uh, rental work, okay. touch-ups, I would say. More aesthetic to Just attract. Just exactly, to make it look more appealing. Okay. Then, then the next fine, owners are going to most likely mm -hmm. tear out the hardwood on the main okay. floor tear out the hardwood on upstairs so why don't we just, just leave it like that then like we'll, we'll just put that in the price to paint the to do like the, whatever it is yeah, six like seven eight and inches then you, need, you, you, you need to fill the edge here yeah that's yeah. gonna have, if it's gonna be painted we're gonna put the caulking everywhere yeah. to yeah. close okay, the gap so there. we'll give it as an option well we have okay. claudio coming after he's done with all his projects so <laughs> <Yeah>. you'll, <laughs> you'll have ample time for us <laughs> kitchen cabinets Okay. <laughs> Got to paint these babies out. Got to paint them white. Paint them white. I'm going to change the hardware, put black knobs. Okay. So I'm closing the holes like we did the last one. Yes. Hole. And I'm going to do nice linear okay. hardware here. I'm assuming white-ish. White. Yeah. Like the CC20 yeah. that okay. we do. Nice and clean. Okay. I'm looking uh, around at the sewage because right here we have some Oof. water damage. Yeah. Now this has all been taken care of. There's nothing happening internally now. It's okay. just a matter of fixing it up. Whatever is this like maple color here? Anything that's exactly the wood color, all of this. So the insides will stay and yeah, we'll just have them nice and okay. cleaned. Stay consistent with what's going on right now. Trims will all be white. Okay. 
and then the walls will go whatever color whatever color 36. yeah i mean with this area everything is white and gray right okay. neutral and uh, we don't have a lot of natural nice. light so i don't with know the hard, if i'm doing with it the, dark with the dark color 26 right? yeah 26 is the, nice i'm thinking of keeping it lighter though okay like so obviously all through there the trim wall ceilings everything and then the window trims also need to be repaired I want to show you upstairs I'll also after. Oh, well, you want to go upstairs first? Doesn't matter. Sure. We so can you go have, upstairs you, first. You have the stairs, but then the carpet continues. What do you want to do there? Do you want to so do whatever's it? carpeted has to get recarpeted. Oh, okay. Pulled out and we we're done. Okay. Yeah. So see, the hardwood is different here than it is on the main floor. But it's probably like that under here for sure. Under here, yes. Mm. Yeah. So this was not done, right? But you you, you don't want to cover the carpet there. No, just, just we'll here. just leave it. The thing is, until we remove the carpet, we don't know the, the state of the wood. Uh huh. But then it has to get sanded down. Maybe not. And all of that would have to get sanded too. No, but if it looks like that. I'm sure there is going to be a color difference because that's you would been know better. exposed, right? And this has been under the carpet for years and years. So there's yeah. definitely going yeah. to be a color difference here. So that's going to be darker. So then. This then is going to be darker. That's going to be lighter because that's been washed and used right. and it's been worn. That side's been worn in. When the, the wood is natural? I think we should just continue the carpet throughout. Okay. And then again, I personally think whoever buys this will probably redo this. We're trying to make it look good. Okay. Everything is being removed. Everything's being painted. The shelves come out? Or no, leave the shelves. Okay. And closets and everything complete. Yes. All, okay, actually, a little bit of a stress kind of okay. all around the house, yeah, all around the room, all the cracks in the walls, and this wow. is, um, yeah, it's not drywall, it's plaster, right? This is yeah, this is not going to be fun. I've had like I've put up artwork on these kind of walls, yeah, and all you hear is crumble. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, the house is going to fall on me. <laughs> so this is also complete. Trim, ceilings, walls, everything. The whole shebang. Yeah. Oh, I am replacing all of the doorknobs. Okay. I'm doing black. Okay. So that's something to consider. I guess with the hinges, Claudio. So that'll be another add-on. Yes, bedroom, Nicholas, to, to you add on, this one too? Hold on, add-on for me. To do what? To add the, you want me to put the hardware on? Yeah. Okay. Well, when you're painting it, so after you paint it. Okay. Then just. So you want me to change all the hinges, change all the knobs, the locks? This one has a lock. I just saw this door over here that's peeling away. You see all that? Yeah, okay. That needs to be fixed. And paint it, just paint it black, the outdoor, the outside okay. door. The inside part of the outside door. Yeah. Because all of the exterior doors are black, right? Okay. So we'll just make this continuous with that. Kind of like the feel of this. This is super soft. This is nice too. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do a neutral. Mm -hmm. It'll either be this one. Do you want to keep these? You can keep these. Can I? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Keep these. Keep them for them. Keep, and then keep them. Change it. whenever. I, I don't need them. Whenever you, I see you can give them to me later. Okay. But so is that we'll enough choice these. for you? This is the mid-range price? Yeah. I don't think we would want to go more than okay. a mid-range. The thing is you don't need a lot of carpet. Right. But though we're doing the rooms. So yeah, just to say you don't need a lot of carpet, but. I think this is my, I think this is my best bet. Especially if we're doing the rooms too. This might get a little busy. Okay. You know, the thing is. Uh huh. You can choose after you paint. Right. Because if you gray. paint everything in white, you may want to go, instead of going towards the yeah, beige, you may want to go more to the gray. Yeah. This one or feather. Feather. And then I see thing. that they're putting something here. Do you want something here? Or you no. Don't? This is my problem. Claudio, actually, yeah. thank you for mentioning that. Look at this. We think it might be able to be cleaned, but it... You know, I'm in the wood business. You buff this. But the thing is, you have to re-varnish it. And if but, we re-varnish it, we got to varnish the whole thing. You got, yeah. At well, least you, this well, area, right? At least this area. 
Yeah. Oy, oy. So it's like with the old homes, when you touch one thing, you got to touch everything, yeah, right? Yeah, but, but you do that? No. Okay, because I can match it exactly okay. like that, but I would need to do yes. the whole area. Right, the whole area. I think that's something that I would like you to quote me on, please. Okay. Okay? Every time I come here, I find more and more stuff to do. As you guys know, we don't just furnish homes. We do a lot of the touch-up work as well. So my eye is constantly revolving around the room to see what else needs to be done. So here we have light fixtures being replaced. We have painting. We're doing a lot of repair work with the paint. There's a lot of cracks in the walls. The house is old, so it's made of, there's a lot of plastered walls that need to be redone. A lot of water damage, so I'm going to be have, I'm going to get all of these hardwares replaced. There's a stove being replaced, so again, it's not just a matter of coming in, changing out the furniture, putting a coat of paint and calling it a day because there's so much more involved than just styling a house just with furniture. You got to make it look presentable. You got to make it look fresh. You got to make it ready to move into. So a turnkey house is always the easiest sell. Okay guys, gear is on. Let's go inside to the tile place. We have lots of stuff to choose. So I'm trying to figure out uh, for the master bathroom, I thought to do the Calcutta on the floor, which is a little bit of a warmer Calcutta. It's not like a white and gray. It's a little bit more of a beige undertone, which is nice. But now for the master uh, shower for the floor, I'm thinking of doing tiles, the mosaics, but I feel like this one suits the Calcutta better because this one, although I love the size, um, has a little bit of a pink undertone, which I don't feel like it blends in too well. So I'm gonna ask my sales rep if this one comes in larger sizes, because I want it to have more of a clean look than a smaller choppy look. It is a pretty big shower, so I think we can do something fun with it. We have selected the Allure Grill for the master bathroom. Um, we're gonna do the 36 by 36 on the floor because it is a pretty big bathroom. And the larger you go in the size of your tile, the more seamless it looks and it makes the space look more substantial, more grand. So we're doing a 36 by 36 on the floor. We're gonna do the mosaics and the bathroom uh, stand-up shower. These two complement each other really well. They're not a complete match, but this one is actually the Statorio. Um, natural marble and on the wall we're gonna do we're gonna continue the Allure grill and just go all the way around it is a pretty big master um, shower so this is actually gonna look so beautiful let's go over to the laundry room tiles I'll show you those so we felt that the 24 by 24 was a better fit for this bathroom because it is a little bit of a narrow bathroom. It's not as wide as the master. So we don't want to choose big tiles and then have to cut them all up, obviously. So we chose the 24 by 24. It has the gray background with the white veining inside, which then allows us to do either a dark vanity or a light vanity and do a nice countertop uh, to complement. Then in the shower, it's actually a bathtub. Um, we didn't do a stand up in the second bathroom just because if it's someone that has kids, they're gonna need that tub to bathe them, right? So uh, we chose this one because it complements really nicely the undertone in here with what we have going on on the floor. It's just gonna tie in together really nicely and we're gonna put them vertically all around the uh, shower. And we'll probably do some kind of nice neutral countertop on the vanity. So this is option number two for bathroom number two. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our page. And if you haven't already, check us out on Instagram at sanasdesign_interiors. underscore interiors. We'll see you next time.